Hello and welcome back to AirTech Hunting. We've got a brand new setup in front of us here from FX Air Guns and Sabre Tactical. Massively powerful system. We're going to do a little hunt with it, so sit back and enjoy. Today we are out on a feeding farm that is situated in the Kalahari Desert up in the north of South Africa, close to the border of Namibia. This farm is struggling with an overpopulated dove problem and a massive problem with ground squirrels digging holes under infrastructure and causing them to collapse. We've got the right tools to deal with them, so let's get to it. We've got a very simple strategy today. We're just going to set up on the table over here and then we've got the wires and the fences all down here to about 80, 100 meters. Um, it's the longest distance we're going to get here on this specific farm. And then we've got some ground squirrels on the other side of the fence as well. So we're going to try and get those with the FX Wildcat Compact, which is perfect for that type of, of mission. So yeah, let's see how it goes. The main gun of the show today is the FX Impact M3, but this time it's got a lot of external and internal upgrades, but more on that later. <laughs> See that? <laughs> and down he goes. Yes. That was a loud one. The first accessory on this gun that we're going to talk about is this nice GRS bipod. Now it goes very well with the new Sabre Tactical TRS rail because you can mount it up here. Uh, this bipod has got feet on the bottom that you can flip around so you can have spiky or flat bottoms. The legs can extend very uh, cool mechanism that, that they use here to do that with as well. You can also adjust the legs uh, to tilt at various degrees and then it's got this friction uh, can system here as well which is uh, very handy. Very well made, solid bipod. Got him, first sparrow. Yo. The metal rod was like protecting him. Got that one. The second accessory is a very prominent one and that's a new Sabre Tactical Top Rail Support or TRS. Now this rail is actually designed to keep your shroud from drooping because it's got a Dalrin uh, shroud clamp that you can put on on the front there as well. I obviously don't have this on here because I've got the 800 millimeter um, tension system so I don't need that. And also comes standard with a built-in bubble level for that long range shot so you can know your gun is not canted. And then it's got M-lock slots all the way in there as well. Extremely nice rail and it makes this gun look like a beast. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> And down goes that one. Next we're going to move to the inside of the gun and in there is a brand new hammer made from tungsten. Now tungsten is a very dense material, very heavy and what this allows you to do is run much higher rec pressures because with all that extra weight you can push the valve in way deeper and that gives you way more power. There's another nice one. <laughs> yes, that's loud. With that heavy hammer, you need a regulator that can handle higher pressure. And this is exactly what FX has done. They've upgraded the current regulator with a new brass piston. And that allows this regulator to run up to 200 bar. <laughs> Got that one. <laughs> and down goes that one. Oh, 
Now with all that extra power with the new hammer and regulator, you need to move that airflow as well. So FX upgraded the block at the back to the new power block. Now I still have a pre-production version that isn't anodized, so I just covered it up with a cover. But all new FX impacts will actually come out with this new upgraded power block that allows better valving and better airflow for more power. Whoa, we've got a hangman. <laughs> Yo, my eyes crack. <laughs> Down he goes, went for the head. Now finally, the 800 mm barrel is available to the public and it comes out with the tension system as well. And that completes this gun. Um, with all that extra power and that extra runway, this is now a 100 foot pound 22 cal air gun. And the system is also available in other calibers as well. <laughs> it's a loud. Yo, guys, okay. that was officially my loudest pop of the day. Crazy. By now you might have noticed that the quality of the scope cam footage is a little bit better because on here is now a brand new GoPro Hero 10 with a 16mm lens from Backbone and I had to manually mount it with a little 3D printed part to the Eagle Vision cam system. But Masood from Eagle Vision is busy working on a casing for this as well, so you can fit it directly on there. And this camera can now do 2K at 240 frames a second. A nice big upgrade for the, for the channel as well. <laughs> and down that one goes. Bob wire. Ooh, got that one. Nice. Bob wires make it very difficult. We spotted some ground squirrels now, but they're on the other side of the fence, and we've got the perfect tool for that. So we're going to use a wildcat to, to shoot through the fence. Um, perfect job for this compact gun shooting 23 grain javelin slugs. Most of them back in the holes now, so we'll give them some time, they'll come out again. Very close, but that doesn't matter, we have to get the job done. Because there are so many holes that they dig here, and the, the livestock actually break their legs when they walk into the holes. Got that one in the head. Okay, that was quick and it was uh, quite a few down in a short amount of time. So I didn't have time to adjust my turret, so I just kept it on 20 meters. Some of the shots were a lot closer, so with those shots I just hold a little higher and if it's on 20 I hold dead on a little bit further, I'll just start holding a little under. Works out pretty well because you don't have time to adjust for distance. You gotta be quick and effective. Okay, here as well. The other one was probably about seven meters, so I'll just hold a lot over it because the trajectory is actually still coming up. 
So the headshots are very dramatic because of those nerves still twitching once you get them but that's just normal they're instantly dead so don't worry about that with the ground squirrels now all in hiding we turn our attention back to the doves That's 80 meters and dead. Yo, okay, that was another loud one. <laughs> Off with his head. <laughs> that was hectic. Yeah. It's only a javelin that can do that. Can't show you close up, but you'll see in the scope cam footage. I think I got him, but the wind died down. I think I just got him in the head. Yo, okay, it was a nice one at 60 meters. <laughs> hey, tick, 40 meters. <laughs> Down he goes, 84 meters. And with that shot we decided to call it a day because the Kalahari sun was starting to get to us. Well, that is it. We are done here for the day. We had loads of fun. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe and then we see you next time. Cheers.